In this video, I'll show you how to get some more custom TTS data onto components that you bring in from Dextrous. So I've got my cards here. I've done the update trick to update these ones, and I've got this new leveling mechanic here. So I've got the numbers one, two, three, four, and I wanna have a kind of a mechanic where I move a token along these levels as my characters level up. So how might I go about doing that um, easily in TTS and Dextrous? What I might do is I'll create an object. I'm just gonna click on components. I could use dice. I might actually use these nice little white pieces here. Now they've, they've come in here, they're much too big. Um, so I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna scale down by clicking this down here. I've gotta go down quite a bit and I'm thinking now I might want that white I think is gonna get lost on the card. So if I put that there, that might get lost. So I'm gonna change the color too. I'm gonna to right click and I'm gonna click color tint. I'm gonna make it a nice bright red and hit apply. So I've now got this red token, which is quite visible and I can kind of drag that along to different tokens. The problem is I really want it to just snap nicely in place and not have to worry about positioning it so much here. So I'm gonna get some I'm going to get some snap points onto these levels here. So how would I go about that? What I need to do first of all is I need to um, lock the card. This is a really important step and if you don't do it, it actually won't work properly. So if I right click this again, I'm going to go to toggles and hit lock. Now this card, I can't drag it anymore. I can't drag it anymore. It's locked in place. Now if I hit snap points, so this is points over here, I can just click that button and I'm gonna zoom right in so I can be accurate here. I'm going to right click to just come straight over the card and I'm gonna put a snap point there, there, there and there. Now you'll notice I haven't been exactly centered there. I can if I want hover over it till it goes blue and then reposition it there slightly. So if you if you really want to center it, you can. This is a dialog that sometimes pops up when you click the wrong thing like I just did. You can actually name the tag there if you want to. That could be helpful for other things later like scripting, but for my intents and purposes, I just want these zones there. Okay, go away. Now, I want these snap points on every single card here. So what I need to do is I need to somehow tell Dextrous, hey, when you export to TTS, always have the snap points in this position for every single card. So how I can do that, so I can just go back here. So these snap points are there. If I click snap points, I can see they're set in the right place. So that's good. Now I can right click this card. And what I wanna do is I wanna save the object. Now what this is actually gonna do is it's going to save, Now I'll call it something, Gills snap card, I'll call it that. Okay, now what this is gonna do is it's gonna save the object, so like a text file essentially with the properties that I've given this card, including the snap points. So we need to open that up. So if I go to my save objects here, so this is in my documents, my games, tabletop simulator, save, saved objects, I can see that I've downloaded this, it's called JSON object, JSON source file of Gil's snap card. If you double click here on the JSON, it will open up probably in a text file unless you've got another, another program to do it. I've got a program called VS Code um, and it opens it up nicely here like this for me. I can actually see the JSON format, if I hit um, Alt, Shift, F, it will format it all nicely like this for me. And I can see the data on this card. There's a whole bunch of things like where it is on the table, whether it's a card, it's gravity, all that. But I'm actually just looking for the snap points. And this is the, this is the thing I want right here. You can see each of these little packets is actually one of those snap points that we just clicked. And so I want this attached snap points right down to this um, square bracket. So if I'm in VS Code here, I can actually select the whole thing. But if you're in a notepad or whatever, you just want to go from this um, quote mark down to the square bracket and including the square bracket and hit copy. 
Once you've copied those snap points um, to your clipboard, you can come back to Dectris and open up the component settings here and just paste it straight in here where it says TTS custom data. So I'm going to paste that in there. Now I'm going to click off. And now if I export this component again, so I'm going to do it again. Now, interestingly, I can't update this in place using the saved game trick because the save game trick only works for the images, right? So the images of the card. So yes, it will bring in these, but it won't bring in the snap points because they're part of the underlying TTS object, if that makes sense. So I'm going to hit export. I'm going to create a tabletop simulator file. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to move it back into my save object. So I'm going to download it. There it is. Back here, I'm going to go to my saved objects. I've got this test project here. Um, I'm going to pull this one straight in. So that's my orange creatures. So now if I'm over here and I go saved objects and I bring in my orange creatures here, they, here we go. So I'll bring these guys in. Oh, I always do that. I'm going to delete these guys because I'm not using them anymore. So if I bring these out, you can see all the cards come in with the snap points. Yeah, so that's one really easy way you can get custom TTS data working with your project in Dextrous.